Praise be to Jesus. Let us pray. Risen Christ, please give your mother the graces needed for your priests to reject liberal theology and remain steadfast to the tradition of our faith. Amen. Hi everyone, Charles here with you on a Friday morning. A Michigan bishop is facing scrutiny over his failure to immediately discipline a priest after a credible allegation of abuse. Bishop Oral Boyer of the Diocese of Lansing waited four years to remove facilities from Father Pat Egan, accused of sexual misconduct. In an audio recording of a public conversation acquired by Church Militant, Boyer claimed Egan was still meeting with minors, but dismissed concerns expressed by a victim's advocate. After a media uh, media query by Church Militant, the bishop clarified that he had misunderstood what had been told to him, and, in fact, there were no minors in his presence. In the audio recording, which took place publicly at the Diocese of Lansing's Men's Conference on February 23rd, Boyer claimed he heard saying that Egan was still meeting with children in the Ann Arbor area. Oh boy. Well, that's getting caught with your pants down, I guess. That's what it seems like to me here. Egan's priestly facilities were revoked in September following a credible allegation of inappropriate sexual behavior with an adult male. The diocese issued a statement at the time. Let's see what it says here. Reverend Patrick Egan, a senior priest of the Archdiocese of Westminster in London, England, currently residing in Wastanor County, Michigan, has had his priestly facilities removed due to a credible allegation of inappropriate sexual behavior with an adult male. The statement fails to mention that the inappropriate sexual behavior involved non-consensual conduct. It also does not mention that this allegation was first brought forward in 2014. And that's that. More another um, another bishop uh, caught (laughs) caught down covering up. Um, Okay, well, we'll talk to you later. Bye.